How is everyone? Hope you're well. Barney is getting very excited. Very, very excited. Oh my god. Thank you for your message. Barney, I don't need assistance with the mouse. Stop! <laughs> ah! What are we gonna do with you? You're a menace. <laughs> oh, okay. Just wait. Wait. Welcome to the stream. Hi. <laughs> I'm All right. He's nearly as tall as you. Yeah, I know. Look how tall he is. <laughs> Turns out this has become a, a Barnard and Quali dancing stream, huh? Fun, 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 fun. I looked at a couple recipes. I have rice cakes. I have spring onions. I have this chili flake, gochujang. I can't believe this. I feel like I'm already like, we're not gonna start cooking just yet. Sorry, I'll try to do it quickly, but I think this will be a very quick meal. I think. Okay, I was getting my ingredients. Rice cakes, chili flakes, gochujang, a bit of dashi seasoning. I think I need soy sauce. I think there's soy sauce in it. That sounds about right. Soy sauce. Is there oyster sauce? Nah. Should I look up a recipe? Garlic. Was there anything else? It's pretty simple. Soy, garlic. Was there anything else? Oh no, the menu. Any K dramas you can recommend? My favorite K-drama of all time is Crash Landing on You. Hands down, Crash Landing on You, because it has like a North Korean and South Korean part, and it's so good. And apparently I heard that it's like one of the best depictions, uh, best depictions of like North Korean village life. Uh, apparently like people who have escaped North Korea have said that the village that's depicted in the show is so accurate because they worked with people who are from North Korea. How good is that? Um, like not good, but like how how interesting for a K drama. All right, let's make a. How's the big fluff ball? Oh, he's the good one or the bad one. Good one or bad one? You tell me. Okay, so I'm going to use one of these dashi packets, which is not, it's not part of the recipe, but I'm going rogue. I'm doing it because it's like, you know, same vibe as anchovy. It's same, same vibe, same vibe. Oh, it smells so fishy. So, so fishy. This has... Salt, bonito powder, bonito extract, and flavors. Eight to ten servings. Oh, well, maybe that's a bit too much. Is this eight to ten servings? Ah, yeah. Okay. This is going to be two cups of water. One... Two. That's two cups of water. Hey, Miggy. Do I think you're talking to nobody in the room? Yeah, I must seem crazy. <laughs> Dashi has MSG? Oh. All right, that works out great then. Fantastic. Okay, that goes in. Okay, and then we're gonna make the sauce and I'm just gonna wing it. 
I'm going to do two tablespoons of garlic because I like garlic. Garlic is yum. I'm going to turn this down. Oh no, I don't have my apron on. Should I put an apron on, Barney? What do you think? Okay, I'm putting my apron on. <laughs> Cause I feel like the the sauce is gonna get a bit messy, so we're aproning it up to vibe. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of gochujang. Do you guys know what gochujang is? I assume like Korean cuisine is becoming more popular. Two tablespoons of gochujang. I chose the mild gochujang because I'm a little bitch. I bought the spicy one by accident the other day and I've never felt such regret. I was so sad. All my food was too spicy. <laughs> I just wish Koreans would chill out with the plastic packaging. What is like, what is that? You have plastic on plastic on plastic within plastic. So true. Um, da, 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 da. It's been this for the female parts. It's been a while since No Kids was on. I'm going to do two tablespoons of soy sauce. Because... I am going to do that. And then I'm going to do sugar. Um, hello, ma'am. Hi, Soon. Sun. Sun. Hey, Sun. Kewpie mayonnaise and gochujang is amazing. Oh, so true. I'm going to do two tablespoons of sugar. One. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> that was maybe three, but that's okay. Sweet is good. We like sweet tteokbokki. I like sweet tteokbokki. Not too sweet, but you know, good, good. I'm gonna do one tablespoon of chili flake because this can get like really spicy. This one, this one has no chill. Okay, one tablespoon. That was a little bit under a tablespoon. We're making this paste. Let me know if there's anything missing. Maybe a bit of honey. I'll add a bit of honey. Is that barn on hanging out? Extremely <laughs> yes. <laughs> I feel like they must add so much sugar. Sometimes when you have it, it's like really sweet. I don't think we've added that much sweetness. Okay, that was a good glob of honey. More sugar? More sugar. Uh, my go-to when I go to a Korean restaurant is, I actually really like tteokbokki, but restaurants sell it here too expensive. How much does tteok usually cost you? For me, like if I go to a restaurant, it'll cost minimum like 17 bucks. 17, that's, it's, that's crazy. Whereas like, you know, Korea, it costs $4. <laughs> the markup is beyond. I wonder if I should use all of this. Maybe I'll use like this much, not all of it. I'll save this for a rainy day. The markups are high and the Korean restaurants are booming in Melbourne. Oh, I have, maybe there are like five, five Korean restaurants within like half an hour, of 40 minutes of me. Um, but there's only really two that I like, but one of them is really expensive. And the other one's like never open. Whenever I go there, it's closed. They're like, oh, closed, closed on Tuesdays. And I'm like, oh, closed on Tuesdays. Okay, sure. And then I go back there on a Wednesday and like, we're closed on Wednesdays. And I'm like, wait, what? Okay, these are the fish cakes. They're very frozen. I should have maybe defrosted. It's all right, I'll just peel these off. These are called Premium Busan Fish Cake. I might do three sheets. Yeah.
Ugh. Might have to do one sheet at a time. Oh, they're very frozen. Please. My fish cakes approved. Good size. Put my fish cakes in. These will probably flavor the broth as well, actually. Oh, maybe that was enough. I probably don't need this extra sheet. I think that's enough fish cake. It's like layering the whole top. I'm going to put this one back. I'll show you. Hang on. Can you see? Is it focusing? They're like not bad. Not as good as the real deal, but there was two brands. There's this brand and then there's this brand. I thought this one would be way better. But this one's actually so much tastier. This one's kind of shit. This one's the best. Who'd have thought? Fun. What are those? They're called hot dog and they're like a dough that they usually fry, like shallow fry. And then the inside is full of brown sugar and seeds. Like, I don't even know, just a mix of seeds. And like honey, oh, they're so yummy. I'm gonna put the bottoms in here of the spring onion. Um, hello, Sen Senatory. Hello, Senatory. Those are so yum from experience. Yeah, for sure. Okay. These will go, excuse me. Those are the bouncy onions, right? I've heard of them. Bouncy? These? These are just spring onions. Wait, you don't wash the whole thing? I washed most of it. I'm gonna put these in the soup. <laughs> Hi, Ern. Maybe one more. Cool. And then these I'll save for garnish. For garnish. I'll put these into a bowl. I'll put them in at the very end. Actually, I can put these in. You guys can go in there. Pretty. How many servings would this make? Um, I, that's a great, that's, a, that's such a good question. I don't know, it depends on how much you want to eat. <laughs> how much are you eating? Okay, I'm gonna put the sauce in. Hopefully it's, oh no, I saw people add pepper. I think they added white pepper. Wait, sorry. I'll add a little bit of white pepper. Not much. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? Should I add sesame seeds? I'm gonna add sesame seeds because I can. Is that crazy? I'm doing it. Okay, I did it. Should I put salt in it? There's no salt. Oh, well, there's soy in there. Sesame seeds are amazing. And these are toasted sesame seeds as well. They're Korean toasted sesame seeds. Oh God, I hope this is yummy. Let's put this in. Ah, oh, hello Buried. Thank you for not playing Elder Long. Seriously, Quell Love. By the That's way, okay. I am loving your previous videos on YouTube. Oh. Manticular, that's so nice. Thank you for giving me motivation to upload more of my VODs onto YouTube. I never do it, it's really bad. There's so many, there's so many unpublished VODs. But I like making um, thumbnails. But thank you, Manticular, thank you. I will be playing Elden Ring at some stage. 
apologies. I really want to play it, but I've just been holding off because I know everyone else is playing it, so... I will With wait. With all of these happy little accidents, you're the Bob Ross of cooking. <laughs> Except for the end product isn't quite Bob Ross worthy, but you know, I love your spirit. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Would you ever do YouTube content while I've grown big enough? I'm gonna... I've, I've said this for the last, like, year. I'm so full of shit, but I actually will start streaming on YouTube. Hopefully, like, next week. I've watched a lot of videos. Nutty. Shout out to our boy Nutty. I watched, like, a few Nutty videos to help me out. Um, yeah, I'll be streaming on YouTube and hopefully I'll be doing like YouTube main and maybe, maybe if my internet can handle it, I'll be doing YouTube short, like uh, streaming as well. It's kind of like TikTok streaming, but it's on YouTube. Seems like pretty doable, especially because my internet got updated. So it should be pretty cruisy. And that'll be a fun, that'll be my next adventure. So, Please follow my YouTube. <laughs> please, please sub, sub to my YouTube VODs. That would be fantastic. It's man to ki ma man to kia. Not man to killer. Man to kia. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Man to kia. Man to kia. Uh, even if we don't taste well, just smile and taste we won't know. I can't lie to you. I always tell you if it tastes bad. It looks good though. Holy shit. Yeah, I think my, because I'll do restream, but then if you want to stream to YouTube short, you have to have a separate upload. Um, so YouTube and Twitch will be fine, but then it'll be like technically doing two streams because I'll be doing YouTube. My poor phone. It's going to be wet. It's going to be absolutely dripping. <laughs> oh no. Okay, put this down. Oh. Wait, have I made Tokpoki before? No. I think I've made, I made Gimpub. I think. I recall, oh yeah, I did, I did. Because I made them too girthy. <laughs> I made them too thick. And then I had Gimpub in the fridge for like days. Oh my God, that looks so good. Yum. I hope the rice cakes are cooked. I wonder what the sauce is like. I'm gonna lick it. Oh no, it's so spicy. What did I do? <laughs> it's so spicy, wait. It's okay, it's got a bit of a burn. It's got a slight burn. It's doable. I think it's doable. Oh no, why is it so spicy? I think it's the chili flakes. Try. But I have no idea what it could taste like. It tastes like chilies. <laughs> and then rice cakes are chewy. No, it's very like savory, umami, tasty, chewy, chili. Mmm. It's a bit too spicy. What did I do wrong? <laughs> what did I do wrong? Add more sugar, maybe. Yeah, okay. It's not that sweet. Okay, wait, I'm gonna mm -hmm. Rose Tokpoki has uh, cream in it. If you wanted to. We could definitely do that, actually. I think I have some plant-based cream in the cupboard. In the fridge, sorry. Uh, I was like, on my way into work, I had to say, that looks good. Oh, good, Azong. Hey, thank you. I hope work's all right. Um, he's gone back to finish the job. Did you eat it as a whole or can you add it to something? You can eat it on its own. Usually people just eat it on, the, on their own. It's like a street snack. You just have it in like a little plate and then you eat the rice cakes and the chili. Sorry, the rice cakes and the fish cakes together. Um, but you can have it on the side of like dishes. It can be like a side. You can have it with like rice if you want, but there are rice cakes already in it. Should we add cream? What do you reckon? Oh my god, add ramen. We could add ramen. I think I've got ramen noodles. Oh, cheese works really well to slow the burn. Mmm. Oh, might have to add the cheese. 
I'd rather resort to cream than cheese. It's okay. It's okay. It's very tasty. It has the flavor. But it might be a bit too spicy. It's making my nose run. <laughs> People vanish. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, thank you. Also, thanks for hanging out. Mm -hmm. Let's do an experiment. We will take out a portion and add cream. I don't know what else they add to rosé tofuki. Let me just quickly Google it. I think it's just cream. For science. Yeah, I'll take out like a couple spoonfuls and we'll add a bit of cream to it and see what happens. This. In a bowl. Okay. And we'll see. Who leaves a pot of cream in the fridge? What? No container, no lid. Okay, I've added a dash of cream into this one. And we'll mix it up and see how it goes. You just wing it, so maybe a bit of much on the ingredients. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I, maybe it's too flavor forward. This looks interesting. But if you look up tteokbokki, the new like cool thing to do is to add cream and cheese to your tteokbokki. So I'm adding cream and I will add a sprinkle of cheese. I think I've got cheese. Hmm. Though I don't know how long it's been in the fridge for. Oh wait, no! Oh no! I only have parmesan and cheese! Shit. Wait, hang on. Maybe I put it in the freezer. Oh, I do! I have frozen cheese. Might have to microwave this. Okay, that's the cream. And I'll put a little bit of cheese on top. Okay. This the dog has patience with say no he doesn't. Have you um S Clarkio, you should uh go to the start of the stream for the first like 30 minutes. That dog he was testing my patience, my god. He's finally given up, I think. I think I think. Okay, this is the cream and cheese I'm trying. Barno is a golden tomato, yes. It's just cheddar cheese, really. I thought it was cheddar and mozzarella for some reason. Maybe that's just pizza cheese. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Damn, that's good. That's actually so good. Damn, that's so good. It tastes so much better. No, it tastes so much better. You're kidding. You're kidding. But, like, maybe I'll cook one more thing. Maybe one more. Um, okay, I'm going to cook this, I'm going to add this and then we'll see how we go. Let me just change my title. This gets a bit messy so I'm going to put in baking paper. Sorry.
Oh, I'm gonna cough. One second, sorry, I'm gonna die. Sorry. Hey, Quali, you surprised me with this one, but love the vibe. And I, and I found you through the Baldur's Gate streams. Take care and have fun. <laughs> That's cool. Mr. Mad and thank you for saying hello. Thanks for joining us for Baldur's Gate. It was very short lived. Sadly, I, um, I didn't even get past the freaking first chapter. I'm a horrible, horrible D&D player, apparently. It was fun, but I was too stupid. Um, but yeah, this is like, sometimes I do cooking streams. They're usually like pretty, you know, professional, obviously. <laughs> but nice to meet you. COVID, I, I wish it was, cause then it would go away quick, but this is kind of lingering on. This is the hot talk, I'm so sorry. Usually they're like quite a bit bigger. But hang on, let me see if I can show you up close. And the inside has brown sugar and seeds. But yeah, and it's like a, a bready, it's almost like a donut-ish. They say pancake, but I would say it's more similar to a donut or bread. Okay, this goes on for so 130 and then it goes on for 20 minutes or 18 minutes. Whoops. Ah, oh, shit. Bunny. Thank you. Thank you. How many hours in Starfield? What, like four? No, I think I gave it, everyone said keep playing it gets better at 20 hours so i think it, it's maybe like around 20 hours maybe ah uh, the game makes me a skin crawl i don't like the depths of the ocean it really, that's so it's so interesting how some people are really anti-subnautica i don't i i i don't think i'm from playing it so far we we haven't gotten that far but I haven't felt that uncomfortable I'm actually kind of disappointed we didn't see any scary scary boys okay this is it not cut open Ooh. you can see all the, like the Ooh. delicious I'll cut it open and show you the inside Um, the algorithm knew you were Asian, so they gave you the Japanese version. Maybe it's because I've been looking up a lot of Korean stuff, so they gave me like the. Because my algorithm right now is Korea. It, it, I think it almost thinks I'm Korean. Almost, I'm getting a lot of only Korean speaking shorts, no subtitles. So I think the algorithm is testing me to see if I can watch a full Korean short. And golden retrievers, because people send me golden retriever videos all the time. Wait. Can you see it? Hang on. Wait. It's really hot. That's the inside. It's like a brown sugar and seed mix. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Um, but the house is so... Oh. But the house is so cold that the stroop waffle was like, uh, it became crunchy. The, the toffee on the inside was hard and it wasn't as chewy. I was like, damn, such a difference. They're so, they still taste so fresh. When they're at just like room temperature, they're really soft and chewy. But then when the house is minus one degrees, apparently, they go rock hard. Hey, empty light, top of the morning to you. Top of the morning to you as well. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Oh. Oh, that's so good. It's so tasty. 
it's honey, it's sugary, it's sweet, like a syrup, but very, very nutty because of the seeds. Mmm, it's so good. This is actually a really good frozen version. Can you show hot dog inside? Yeah, yeah. I'll show you again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. Wait, let me make sure I don't drop on the floor. Does that help? I'm destroying my hot dog for you. Panuffle. Yum. A clue. Goodbye. Goodbye, Dung Beetle. Bye, Zolex. Bye, uh, bye, Carl. Bye, Shriker. Bye, Steve. Bye, Sim. Bye, Glenn. Glenn!